this video, I'll be demonstrating the core abdominal exam featuring proper communication with the patient, draping and positioning, inspection of the abdomen, general palpation, as well as palpation for the spleen and aorta. For a detailed discussion of these techniques and the possible pathologic findings one might encounter, as well as discussion and demonstration of specialized abdominal maneuvers that are only indicated in certain situations, please see other videos in this series, the links to which are in this video's description. Hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Eric Strong. I'm a physician here at Stanford. And how would you like to be addressed today? Olga is fine. Olga, I understand you're here for the abdominal exam today. Yes, I am. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions before we start? Yeah, go ahead. Are you experiencing any symptoms related to your abdomen? For example, um, abdominal pain? No. Uh, any nausea or vomiting? No. Any changes in your bowel habits? No. Any changes with urination, such as blood in the urine or pain with urination? No. And any changes with your menstrual cycles? No. Do you have any chronic medical problems that affect the abdomen? No. Have you had any uh, abdominal surgeries? No. Okay. Well, do you have any questions before we, we begin? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to just sanitize my hands here. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to uh, lay the bed down flat. Okay. And I'm going to extend out a leg rest for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to need to have your uh, abdomen visible. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to hold up the sheet. And if you can raise your gown up okay. to the level of your bra line. Okay. And how is that? Is that, are you comfortable like that? Yes. Okay. Olga, so I'm first going to begin by inspecting your abdomen. And I'm looking at it right now and seeing that the contour of it is nice and normal. I don't see any uh, rashes or any unusual blood vessels on the surface. I don't see any scars, which would be consistent with you not having abdominal surgery before. At this point, I'm going to move to palpating your abdomen, which is going to be me pressing down with my hands. I'm going to be doing two circles, one relatively lightly and one a little bit more firmly. This should not be uncomfortable at all, but if I do hit any place that does feel uncomfortable, please let me know. Okay. That's the first one, and then a little bit more firmly. Mm -hmm. Any pain with any of that? No, no pain. Okay. Next, I'm going to be feeling for your spleen. To do this, I'm going to be asking you to take a breath in and breath out at certain times um, as I'm pressing in different locations in your belly. Okay. Take a nice deep breath in. Out. In. Out. In. And out. In. And out. in. Out, once more, in, and out. Good, I don't feel your spleen, which is normal. And then I'm going to feel for your aorta. Okay. And just, just breathe normally. And your aorta also feels normal. Okay. Olga, I'm going to have you uh, put your gown back down again. Okay. And let me uh, sit back up mm -hmm. and let me get this for you. And I'm happy to report that your abdominal exam is completely normal. Great. Do you, have, do you have any questions for me? Um, no, not for now. If I was describing Olga's abdominal exam during an oral presentation, if it was a very abbreviated presentation, I could just say the exam was normal. But if the listener was expecting more specifics, I would summarize it as follows. Olga's abdomen is soft and non-distended, with no surgical scars, venous collaterals, or other skin findings. It is non-tender with no masses palpated, no splenomegaly, and a non-palpable aorta. 